Hey guys, it's Ben at VW Family Farm. If you're watching this video, more than likely you may be wanting to get into bees. If you're wanting to get into bees, right now is the perfect time to be setting out swarm traps. The type I use are flower pots. You can see this one's got a little extra foam on it, but you can use uh, five frame nukes. I see people putting out deep brood boxes. You can about build anything you want um, and put frames in there or put some honeycomb in there and just as long as you bait it correctly you're going you're more than likely going to catch bees so we're out here in the wood shop i've done several videos on this before like i said about uh, different styles and the ways that i do them but i don't know that i've touched very much on baiting easy and cheap way that you can bait hives your swarm traps is lemongrass. Lemongrass oil is a cheap and easy way to do it. You can also get on eBay. You can order what they call queen swarm lure, things like that. It comes in just a little bitty tube and it ain't gonna last you very long. But I'll tell you one tip that I have learned and it may just be coincidence, but last year I did not change out my straws that I keep the lemongrass scent in and I did not catch one swarm last year. That right there is a straw that it's just got uh, some cotton in it. Here's another one that I've used. All I did was put some extra lemongrass down in the tip of that and rebated it, rescented it, whatever you want to call it. But I didn't catch any swarms last year. So this year I just had this extra wick that we used in uh, outdoor candles, uh, the lamp oil things. Anyway, it's extra. I, I saturated some of these in it in the lemongrass oil and just pin them in there. I'm gonna go through that and show you how to do that real quick. And I'll just set up real quick on showing you how to set up a swarm trap. If, uh, if it ain't detailed enough, we'll link some other videos above that where I went over exactly how to set them all up. All right, so all this is is a biodegradable flower pot. This is a size 15 by 16. You'll want something about that size that way it gives the bees plenty of room to think they've got a new home in here. And then the reason that tape's in there is because last year I had a squirrel chew a hole right here in the entrance where they were going in. And there's a big old hole and I didn't want that. So I ended up taping the inside, putting some spray foam, filling that in, notching it out right here. And now they've got a new entrance. I'm going to pull the old swarm lure out. You will need to get you some wax. Uh, if you can come across some honeycomb, it just helps the odds of your catch that much more. All you'll do is take some either some wood glue. If you've got extra wax, you can wax it and melt it, melt that wax and uh, stick it down right there. But you'll want that on the very top of your hive. Right up here is the entrance. So that's going to be your bottom. So when you turn it upside down, you'll just wood glue, or like I said, you can melt wax and, and stick it down there. Once you've done that, I'm not going to do that right now. Once you've done that, this thing is working pretty good. I'm just cutting off a little piece of that. We'll open the bottle of lemongrass oil, stick it down in there, and then we'll turn it up. I'm not going to do that yet just because I want to put, I want to wood glue that down. But when you do, once you do that, just take you a push pin, a thumbtack or whatever. And then these right here, you can just push it. Now you've got your scent in there. Once you've got your wax stable, just take some little short wood screws of some sort. You can tell down here, I have screwed it on this board or a board several times. There's holes all around. I found that five is plenty. All right, here's another one. You can see right here, I've melted the wax, got it stuck down. This is actually a little bit smaller. This one's a 15 by 13. Same difference, pretty much. It's just not quite as long, quite as much room in there. But, so what I'm saying is you've got your honeycomb on the top. You've got your entrance hole on the bottom. Now we're going to bait this. This is the just lemongrass oil. Put that wick in there. 
Just give her a little slosh. Now you can see the yellow on there. That thing is scented up with lemongrass oil. Set it right there. Get my push pin. Push it in there. Good. Then just a piece of plywood. I drill a hole at the top. I usually put a screw or a nail in a tree. And then I drill two holes down here at the bottom. I just take a piece of old baling twine and wrap it around the tree. That way the, the whole swarm trap isn't just set there rocking on the tree. You don't want that, you want them stable. Let me get this screwed down real quick. And boom, there's your swarm trap ready to go set on the tree. Let's go put it up and see if we catch anything. I know I've talked about these on other videos, but this is another way you can do a swarm trap. Just some cheap plywood, just throw something together. This is about the size of a five frame nuke. You can get the, uh, the measurement instructions online. That's what I did and just cut it out, staple it together real quick. And you've got a inexpensive swarm trap that you can go hang on the side of a tree. These things right here are handy because you don't have to go back and check them very often. Now the biodegradable flower pots, you need to go check them regularly because I have had them in a week fill up an entire one of them with comb and just, I mean, it was a mess and you don't want that on your hands. You want to take all of that energy that those bees have got for building comb and get them transferred real quick so they can be drawing out comb on your frames. All right, so this is one of the first ones I hang. This was right here in our yard. Uh, the bees are just right over there. So if I start noticing bees checking this thing out, I know pretty confidently that we're going to have bees swarming pretty soon. So I always like to leave one or two around here at the house, but we also move them around. We keep some at Andrew's mom and dad's. I keep some uh, around where I work and uh, just different places. They can be in the town. They can be in the country. It does not matter. Honeybees are going to be everywhere. Not saying you are always going to catch honeybees everywhere, but there are honeybees pretty much everywhere. So just scatter them out. Uh, just make sure that after you've left them out for a couple weeks, you'll want to go back with like a Q-tip or something, a cotton ball soaked in the lemongrass oil, and just dab the entrance there. Just get that scent back out around where, where the bees can smell it. Yeah, that one may look crooked to you. It is kind of, the board is crooked, but the hole's not. The hole is on the very bottom. The comb is on the very top. I actually messed up when I screwed that one down. I had it a little crooked on the board. So to account for that, I just twisted it a little bit and screwed it to the tree. These honeybees, they love this tulip poplar. This tree right here is our absolute favorite tree on this entire property because it feeds the bees. They love it. This is called a tulip poplar tree. And we actually just got another one, a little sapling from Grower Solution. We're really pumped about that because you can stand under this tree. In fact, I walked under that this morning when I was milking. It sounds like a helicopter about to take off because the bees, when they're feeding on it, they will just cover this tree feeding and taking it back to their hive. Um, it's really awesome to watch and it's a beautiful tree. Here's the swarm trap that we put at Andrew's mom and dad's about a week ago. And it appears. You can see that because of the sunlight. Got bees going in and out of it. I'm gonna take my flashlight and look up inside. As many bees are going in there, yeah. It'll be hard for y'all to see that. I don't know if you even can. I can't tell on the camera here. But there are... It's not a huge swarm by any means. There are bees in it. So I'm going to say we've caught a swarm already. I'll come back after dark and plug the hole in that. And we'll take it home. And then tomorrow we'll dump, dump it in a box. So as Andrea's told you... She grew up living right here. It's a golf course. So out of that tree right there, I have caught seven swarms in one year out of that tree in the middle of the town on a country club golf course. All right, different day, of course. 
I had to go back last night and grab this uh, swarm trap. I'm gonna make this quick and simple. This did not seem like or feel like a very big swarm. So we're gonna open it up and see how, how many's in here, but also show you how to dump these into a nuke. I just brought out a five frame nuke. The way these feel, I probably should actually just put them in a three and I may eventually do that, but not today. We are in a hurry today. Sun's going down. I've made stops and I have got two more swarms. I don't know if I told you last night, but every time I pull a swarm trap down, I hang another one right back in its place right then. Within 24 hours, same tree, I've already caught another swarm. So we've got to go back and get them. Plus over where I work, I had a little bit of footage of some bees checking it out a couple of days ago. All right, I put a swarm trap out here this morning. Stopping by this afternoon to check on it. There is bees all around it, a bunch of them. We are likely, possibly, catching a swarm. We shall see. Went by yesterday, nothing went by today, and it looks like it's a pretty good size swarm, so. Yeah, we're back here again, and I can see bees swarming all around it. flashlight and look up in there we've got to make about an hour and a half trip round trip going and getting them and getting back let's get this one opened up and all I've done here I've got a post and I've got a bolt just holding it up there so the bees will be used to coming right here all right so the way I do this I just got my five frame nuke this is actually one of the uh, corrugated ones I like doing it using these for the swarms because of the lid when I go to dump the bees in there it kind of makes them fall a little more down inside there just a little more a little more of a I guess a ramp you'd say all right so let's see what it looks like in here yep that right there is a small swarm of bees you can see they've already started drawing comb I'm going to turn it towards the light for myself and just see. I don't see a queen. This one definitely is a, uh, a small swarm, but just kind of basically how I do it. No matter the size, give them one good little shake. I'm going to shut that. What I'm doing is I'm looking in here, making sure the queen is not in there. Because you can see there's still some bees left in it. All right, there's just a few more in there, so. Give them a good bump. You want to turn this around. I had the opening facing this way. You want to have this opening facing the same way. These little corrugated nukes. It's got a little door right there. Just like that. Now they're already used to coming in this way. We'll sit here for a minute and you should start seeing bees fly right in that. All right, all I'm gonna do is run in here really quick. Just see now that they've all scattered out on the frames. I'm gonna see if I can see a queen. All right, there she is. I don't have my pen with me to mark her, but I do know there's a queen in here. We're gonna get her back inside. All right, I'm fixing to head out and go get two more to bring home and do it all over again. That is one downside to these uh, cheap flower pot swarm traps. And like I said in earlier, you've got to keep on top of them and make sure you get them transferred before they build too much comb. The great thing about the three frame or the five frame, I would recommend a five frame. Uh, nuke box, putting it out there as a swarm trap, 
you can leave it out there for a month and ain't got to bring it home you can go kind of schedule it then but anyway it is what it is this is what i've got and this is what i've used for a long time i know they work i know they work really well one year i caught 17 different swarms in these things like that little bit of tip i gave you earlier if you catch a swarm in a tree turn right around if you got another swarm trap hang it up there in that tree and more times than not i've caught another swarm pretty quickly right after that in that same area thank y'all for coming along with us if you're uh new to beekeeping got any bee questions drop them down in the comments i'd be glad to try to answer them for you i don't know everything but i have learned a lot and got a lot of experience on failures at least what does not work i know that for sure thank y'all for watching god bless it is now night time I'm walking. I don't want to step on one of them rattled copperhead moccasins. Oh, yeah, that's a nice size one. There are a lot of bees in there. Hmm.